This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored by the Boxing News app. I'm joined by BJ Flores moments after your man Jake's been slapped. Yeah. I mean, look, Mike's letting him know, hey, I'm, I'm going to set the tone. There's been a lot of talk, and the talk's over now, and tomorrow night we're fighting, and he's he's really letting Jake know that. So he's, he's, he's trying to make a statement. Like, Mike's been very nice and respectful, and he's letting Jake know, look, tomorrow I'm on your ass. Um, do you think that that was... Uh... Jake knew he was going to get slapped, but did you no. be careful? It didn't look like he did. He looked a little surprised <laughs> to me. He looked a little bit shocked. Yeah, I think the way everyone jumped in right there, I, I don't think it was expected at all. I, like I said, nerves run high. Tension is, um, is, is, is very stressful if you've been feeling it and feeling it. And then you see the guy that's standing in the way of everything you want, standing right, close, right, like right next to you, very close to you. It's difficult to control those emotions sometimes, and Mike probably hasn't felt a rush like that in about 30 years since his last fight. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how he comes out. But I think uh, Mike Tyson's only got one speed. Mm. Do you reckon we'll see Mike kind of very fast in the first round and then slow down throughout the fight? Goes well, on. It's two-minute rounds, so I think Mike's going to be fine. I don't think he's going to get as tired and as worn down as people think. With two-minute rounds, he's going to recover very quickly. Are you impressed with the shape Mike was in? Looks incredible, man. Looks like a damn bodybuilder. Is he in better shape than Jake Paul? I mean, genetically, he just, I mean, genetically, he's got like different gifts than Jake, but I mean, to, to say he's in better shape, I can't say that, but he looks aesthetically better, but that doesn't mean muscles don't win fights and boxing matches. No, certainly. I know that Mike is still, though, looking uh, pretty impressive indeed. Yeah, he looks, he looks, he looks dangerous. He really does. And Jake Paul in great shape as well. Yeah. Is that um, the best shape you've seen Jake in at that weight? I don't know. 227, like he's never fought over 200. So to me, to go from 200 to 227, that's a massive jump. Uh, I, I would have liked to seen him come in closer to 212, 215. Uh, when you get in that ring, I mean, just because you, you, you weigh more and you're stronger and you hit harder, doesn't necessarily mean you carry the weight the same way over eight rounds. So I'm, I'm a little concerned, but I want to I see how he comes out uh, in the first couple rounds. But I think his team's been working on that in camp. He should be all right, but um, I'm still I'm still concerned about that. Do you think Jake might tire and not be able to be used to the weight class? He could, yeah. That's, that that, that's what I'm saying. He's not used to it. Like Mike, Mike's naturally like 230 pounds. Uh, Jake's gained a lot of weight since the last fight, and sometimes that doesn't transfer over. Um, you know, when you get in the ring, when you get in the later rounds, and the early rounds going to serve him well. But in the later rounds, I'll, I'll be curious to see how it goes. Mm, certainly. And you're coming down tomorrow night to watch it. Oh yeah, I'll be here. Yeah. You're coming with. Hey, I'll be third row. I'll be here with I pick wins in the house. We'll be sitting yeah. ringside, cheering Jake on, and uh, super excited about it. Ready to rock and roll. Tristan Hammett coming? No. Well, I think he's coming actually. Tristan oh, really? did say he's coming, so he's going to pull up. <laughs> He's going to pull up and, uh, yeah, he's going to have the, the Team Ham t-shirt on. Who's he picking? I don't, know who, I don't know who he's picking. I think he's, I think he's picking Mike. He looks like a Mike guy, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, think, I think Tristan said he's picking Mike, to be honest with you. I think he did. So, yeah, I mean, I can't be mad at him. I think everyone wants Mike to win. Um, not me, of course, I but I think like everybody wants Mike heart. to win. Everyone's hearts are Mike Tyson. Everyone's heads are Jake Paul. Yeah, but I mean, Mike's still dangerous early. And uh, like I said, this, this, is, this is a very different level of opponent for Jake. He's never faced an opponent like this. This strong, this big, this powerful. So it's going to be interesting. Mm, certainly, yeah. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow night. Yep. Um, Kay Taylor Manasarano, who are you picking this one? I got Amanda, but I don't like her. I, I don't like her at this weight, you know? It's way too big for her. She's getting older. And, uh, you know, I wanted to win, but I think moving up in weight, you know, a couple weight classes, and then, you know, fighting someone like Katie is going to be a really tough task for her. Mm, no, certainly, I do agree. Um, and there's a couple more things then. Winston Nunes, yeah, Anderson Silva plays him off. He's there. Other guy, I got the Goyez guy. He's got too much experience. I like. I didn't know much about him. How many fights he had? I like Winderson though. I like Winderson. Winderson got a great attitude. He comes to fight. He moves his head. He boxes real well. For the influencer scene, he's doing really well. I think he's. I think he's. He's learning how to. He's picking it up. He takes it serious. How much experience does his opponent have? 16 fights. Okay. How many? How many amateurs do you know? I don't know, but he's, he's got a lot of experience. I'm surprised Winderson's taking the fight. Right, Give him yeah. props. Yeah, and it's a silver there as well to face them off. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, good night. Thanks for the uh, all the interviews this week and the food the other day as well. Of course, man. That was good. That's very nice. Nice yeah. sushi as well. Yeah, right. Fred had a nice little, uh, little uh, what was it, the steak on the yeah, little Yeah, like the wagyu, like yeah. we had to like, cook it yourself. Yeah, it looked yeah. good, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Anytime, you let me know. <laughs> awesome. BJ, thank you very much, mate. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir.